Hello and welcome to my review of the Space Marine Primaris Reavers. One of these sets will set you back £35. It's worth noting that you can still get the three easy to build uh, Reavers for £10. So you're going to be saving yourself £5. However, you're only going to have nine and you'll have three sets of twins. And they're easy to build so you won't have any spare parts or any variation in, in the way they look without heavy modification. So first things first before I get into the review, so I wanna say thank you for your patience. I know this review has taken a little while to come out um, from their original release. Secondly, I wanna say a huge thank you to all those new Patreons uh, that have decided to donate to the channel and support it. And thirdly, I wanna say that I'm still going to the Forge World Open Day. That's tomorrow on the 13th of August. And if you haven't already, why not follow me on Instagram? I'll be taking pictures throughout the day of all the new models, specifically specifically the first access ones and the event ones and things like that. So um, there'll be quite a few uh, pictures and things. I'll be recording the, the event as much as I can uh, on video cameras and things like that. Um, I won't be taking part in the uh, big Titan battle that they have on these open days, uh, but that will probably be something that I'd like to uh, involve myself next time, maybe bring the Warlord or and the Reaver or, or something like that. Anyway, so really looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, hopefully can bring you some content. And I want to say a huge thank you to the people that have uh, ordered their Space Marine HQ tanks uh, and their HC inhales. Um, thank you guys, I've received your money, uh, so I should be able to pick them up tomorrow and post them out to you. So now that those things are out of the way, I'll carry on with the review. So you get it in uh, in this box, this is what it looked like. Uh, like I said, £35 for 10. Um, you get uh, a, an absolute plethora of options in terms of uh, modeling these uh, reavers. Um, you can choose to have these grav shoots on the power uh, packs. Uh, you can choose them to have these uh, uh, bolt carbines, the grenade launchers. There's only two of those um, squiggly ones, um, just to just to say. Uh, but you do get your uh, ten uh, helmeted heads, um, and you also get uh, I think ten or twelve um, non-helmet ones. Um, but yeah, you can pose them in in a multitude of sort of options. The one thing I will say is um, straight away it is slightly annoying that uh, the guns aren't separate. If I just show you that, um, the hand, both the hands actually are molded onto the gun and only one of each arm will fit without sort of heavy modification um, and that's for the angles as well. So I don't know whether that's the right one but basically that will only fit in there because there's a different shape um, and then likewise whatever the shape is there or not that will only fit there. So. I mean, you can still move the the arms up or down, so there's still a bit of variation. Um, but I just thought I'd make that point straight away in case you wanted to use these on sort of standard Space Marines, which I think I will do at some point. Um, you're going to have to cut the fingers off and the hands. Uh, although, you do get a couple of these ones, which again, uh, you just have to cut them off at the, at the wrist and they're good to go. Uh, I think that'd uh, work really well. Um, in like a stern guard squad or something like that. Uh, yes, we'll just have a look at the spare parts as we're talking about them and then I'll, I'll talk about the, the models. So there you go, that's all the spare parts. You get quite a selection. Um, everything from heavy bolt pistols to uh, uh, combat knives, a few purity seals, some grapnel launchers that aren't, uh, that don't have the, uh, the claw that's been um, fired uh, and quite a few of these little uh, pistol holders and grapnel launcher holsters as well. Uh, you get quite a few of these grenades because just the way the models are made and it, depending on the poses you're not going to be able to um, put the grenades on all of their chests and so all the grenades are optional unlike the uh, Reavers in the easy to build set. Um, so yeah you, you get quite a few spare parts you know which I suppose you could use on normal Primaris uh, intercessors because then you can put the uh, shoulder pauldrons on but uh, We'll see. So there you go, that's all the, the spare parts. Let's have a look at the models themselves and then I'll do a size comparison, but they're pretty much the same size as uh, intercessors. So straight away with this this guy here, I, I did spend a long time thinking whether I should uh, actually uh, glue this grapnel launcher on because uh, it's not as flimsy as I thought it would be, um, but it's still an action shot and 
well. I mean, there's a lot of models that have uh, flames and fire uh, and torches and things on them, so this isn't too bad. I chose the sort of Batman pose uh, action shot there. Um, and yeah, you can choose to have the pouches or the pouch and the blade sheaths um, if you wish. But uh, they're really well detailed models, um, as you'd expect. I went for five uh, reavers with um, combat blades and heavy bolt pistols, and I went for five with bolt carbines. Now, the way the rules are worked in the codex, which I will go through uh, towards the end of the video, is um, it specifically says all models uh, in the unit may replace their bolt carbine with a combat knife so it's not the way it's written with scouts for instance where um, the scouts uh, war gear options it says any model may replace a bolt gun with a sniper rifle shotgun or, or combat knife if it was written any model can replace their combat knife or, or bolt carbine with a um, combat blade and heavy bolt pistol then yes you could have you know 10 like this but you can't, it says all models. And because all models is one sergeant and four reavers, that's the way it is. And it's the same for the intercessors as well. Um, all models can take stalker bolt rifles. So you can have five of them with stalker bolt rifles or auto bolt rifles. Um, so that's the way uh, it's We did a little dance. Um, let's carry on with, with the look of the model. So this guy, Bit of a bit of an action pose, sort of running forward, leaping forward. Uh, this guy, very sort of Metal Gear Solid CQC. <laughs> For some reason, I, I've chosen to have the pistol sort of aiming up rather than sort of level. Um, but there we go. Uh, but yeah, I do like the sort of backward blade holding and the the pistol. Yeah, very MGS. Uh, and then this guy. He's got his sheath there, uh, round there, about to draw it. I think that's a great action pose too. They've done really well with the poses, I have to say. Like I say, I mean, you don't have to have these grab shoots on. It's all optional. You can just have them with the power packs, um, like the the uh, easy to build ones. It's up to you. Um, and then this guy, I'd probably say he's a sergeant maybe, out of the uh, ones with combat blades. Um, you get the purity seals, they're all optional, you know, you don't have to put them anywhere. And likewise, the, the grenades are optional um, too. And then the bolt carbines, they look really cool. I like this uh, guy leaning in. As I said in the unboxing, you do get twins. Twins in the, in the sense that you get five legs that are the same as the other five, if that makes sense. But you can mix and match their, their arms and their, their weapons and things, so it's not really an issue. I mean, maybe if you had 20 of them, you might start to see the the uh, similarity, but yeah, so he's sort of shoulder into that. Yeah, wicked looking weapons and uh, great options for poses. I, I probably haven't done these guys justice with my poses, but um, I did originally have his head facing that way, but it looked like he was about to fall over while, while firing or aiming. So I've just done him as running in, in a di direction. Um, this guy, this is pretty good because uh, this guy is uh, reloading the magazine and the hand is attached to the gun there, to the magazine. I mean I could have put his head facing that way, he's sort of leaning into it though. And this, this guy, probably one of the worst poses, is just sort of aiming up and firing with his foot slightly off the ground. And then finally, this is, I'll probably say this is the sergeant. Um, I've given him a combat blade, but you know what? He's got a bolt carbine, so we'll just call it that he's, he's uh, got the bolt carbine and he doesn't have a, a heavy pistol. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is, I mean, I, yeah, I suppose I could put another purity seal there rather than on his power pack, but you know, uh, there we go. Um, this has just slightly come off. That's probably my fault because the other one's quite sturdy, so I'll have to glue that back on in a little while. Better not lose that, because you only get uh, 20 of them. And that's the, the model. So I'll do a quick sort of size comparison. So uh, compared to uh, sort of an intercessor, they are sort of the same same height you'd expect them to be. Um, he's in more of an upright pose. 
and then compared to your uh, this this is very rough painting literally a base coat and a wash it's it's nowhere near um yeah they are the same size so and they and they work quite well i mean yeah without the the grav uh shoots it would have been nice to have like six more grav shoots or something like that but um without the grav shoots they sort of work well too and uh with the color scheme and things they're going to blend in well and actually they'll give you a bit more of a um an option if you wanted to change out some of the legs uh with the easy to build ones and um, so it doesn't you know detract your view from from the twins if that makes sense so i've come to the part of the video where i talk about the rules now i i initially thought that these were going to be sort of primaris versions of scouts that they you know like the intercessors are sort of space marine equivalent of uh of tactical squads um sort of but no they're actually elites um they're an, they're an elite choice so already you're contending uh with uh, aggressors terminators the apothecary company champions company ancients chapter champions cataphracti terminator tartarus terminators stern guard dreadnoughts vanguard veterans and when i mean dreadnoughts i mean all of the dreadnoughts including that redemptor uh, and Centurion Assault squads. So elites have always been busy. Elites and, and Heavy Sport have always been busy with uh, Space Marines. So I would have really have liked them to be in the troop choice. For me, that would have just made more sense, but whatever reason, they're in the elite choice. Uh, their power rating is five. The movement is six inches. Uh, their weapon skill and ballistic skill is three plus. Strength, toughness four, two wounds, two attacks, leadership seven, and save three plus. The sergeant has um, one more attack and one better leadership. So the stat line is exactly the same as the intercessors, which again, I do wonder why they're, they're in elites. So you have one sergeant and four reavers, and you can include up to five additional reavers, up to five. So yeah, you could have a squad of six, seven, whatever. And you just add the points accordingly. You know, you can have five, two, 10, they're 18 points per model. Um, I'm gonna start putting the points in, uh, in in these videos, I think it's quite useful. So we'll talk about the bolt carbine, this little weapon. Uh, it's a 24 inch assault two bolter, pretty much. Uh, so, I mean, obviously it doesn't have rapid fire. Hey, it's an assault two range 24. So so it's very similar to a storm bolter, storm bolter but a storm bolter is not assault two anymore. It's actually rapid fire two. That was one of the changes that they made. Um, so this is now the new sort of old storm bolter, if that makes sense. Um, the heavy bolt pistol, these guys have, it's range 20, 12 inch, pistol one, strength four, AP minus one, damage one. Uh, combat knife, um, it's damage one, uh, each time the bearer fights, it can make one additional attack with this weapon. I think people are very helpful and they pick up on when I get the rules slightly wrong, um, which is which is very welcome, because don't, I don't think you get the extra attack for charging anymore. So um, with two attacks, that just means that these guys are getting three attacks each, um, with the sergeant getting four, because um, they're using this combat blade, which is great, three attacks each. That's 12 attacks, 16 attacks just from a squad of five if my maths serve me right. Then they've got frag grenades, crack grenades, but then they've got this shot grenade. Same range as the other two, six inches, but it's a grenade D3. Uh, it doesn't have a strength AP or damage, but, uh, and it doesn't inflict any damage. If an enemy infantry unit is hit by any shot grenades, it's stunned until the end of the turn. It can't fire overwatch and your opponent must subtract one from any hit rolls made for the unit. That's pretty decent if an enemy infantry unit is hit by any shot grenades. They've all got the shot grenades, the knife wielding and the bolt carbine. So that's very decent. The war gear options, all models in the unit may replace a bolt carbine with a combat knife. So you've got to have all of them with the same thing. All models in the unit may take grav shoots, hence why they've all got grav shoots. Uh, although I could have I could have put um, five without and five with. Uh, and all models in the unit may take a grapnel launcher. So you can't just have one with a grapnel uh, launcher. You, you pretty much uh, got to have all of them with it. Their abilities and they shall know no fear. Grapnel launchers, because this is why all. When models with grapnel launchers move, do not count any vertical distance they move against the total they can move that turn. Uh, moving vertically is free for these models, aka yeah, same as Batman. Uh, in addition, during deployment, you can set up this unit 
uh, if it is equipped with grapnel launchers behind enemy lines instead of placing it on the battlefield. At the end of your movement phases, this unit can join a battle set up within six inches of a battlefield edge of your choice and more than nine inches from any, any enemy models. That's pretty decent. Um, during any of your movement phases, they can just appear. So you get 10 of them coming from the back line or flanking a squad of devastators or you know a heavy support choice or, or something like that, going in, um, shot grenading them and then finishing them off. They don't have power weapons. They don't have a really high strength. Um, they've got good movement and you know, okay weapon skill, ballistic skill and stuff. Uh, but they do have a fair, fair few attacks. Combat squads. Before any models are deployed at the start of the game, a Reaver squad containing 10 models can be split into two units containing five terror troops. Enemy units must subtract one from their leadership if they're within three inches of any Reaver squads. So already you're getting quite a few modifiers in there now. You're getting plus one attack, uh, subtracting one from, from the leadership. You're stunning them with the shock grenades. You've got the grapple launchers that can basically mean you can set up um, from the edge of a battlefield. And then on top of that, you've also got grav shoots. During deployment, you can set the unit up equipped with grav shoots in high orbit instead of placing it on the battlefield. So the grapnel launchers and the grav shoots give you both options. At the end of any of your movement phases, the unit can ascend, descend, set it anywhere up on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from enemy models. So if they've got the grav shoots, there's not a huge need for them to have the grapnel launchers unless there's a lot of vertical terrain and um, because it sort of takes place of moving them anywhere, you know, within nine inches of models so it's up to you which ones you want to take one thing i will say is in sort of competitive play uh match play and um, grapnel launchers are two points per item and grab shoots are two you can forgo moving vertically uh if you want to actually set your troops up anywhere on the battlefield um that is more than nine inches away from enemy models you got the option there they both uh cost the same sort of number of points and there you go so rules wise uh where would you use these this, this elite uh, squad of infantry? You'd use it in uh, flanking or appearing on the battlefield, you know, mid game to late game to make a difference, capture objectives, things like that. They can pop in and even with five of them with bot carbines, uh, you've got, you know, 10 shots, not too bad, but I'd probably say they're more effective with the, the combat blades and the, the heavy uh, pistols. Um, and I, again, I'd probably say they're more effective with the, the grav shoots uh, unless there's a lot of vertical terrain, you, you fight in cityscape, um, something like that. I think five is too small of a squad. I really do. I, th I think ten would be um, would be sufficient. Uh, and you've got to remember that they do have two wounds, though. So although five seems not much, um, two wounds each, they're still going to survive a fair a fair while, um, especially with their save and things like that. And they can really mess up other sort of uh, assault units and um, with their shot grenades and uh, actually messing up other uh, squads that might have a lot of models that could fire overwatch it sort of messes with them too model wise i really like them uh, ever since i saw sort of pictures of them they do look a little bit like space pirates well you know with, with the skull masks and and uh, <coughs> you know what they're wearing and things um but i do like the the uh, skull helmets very sort of chaplain-esque um, and it's just really cool to have a a whole squad of space marines um you know with them uh anyway what do you guys think of them put it in the comments below it'd be great to hear your feedback thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects